in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Outside, are you praying? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we are gathered before you tonight. We are here because we believe in you. We are here because we trust you. We are here because we want to know you. We are here because you are our helper. This is the place of strength. This is the place of wisdom. This is the place of power. This is the place of miracles. This is a place of encounters. This is a place of transformation. So Lord, we thank you. For you are bigger than what we say. You are better than what we say. You are bigger than what we say. You are bigger than what we say. Hallelujah. Bless our hearts tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Walk to 10 people, greet them, tell them it's good to see you. And then back to your seat. There is a sweet anointing in There is a still in the atmosphere Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary, God is here. That's already a prophetic word for someone tonight. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary. For in the sanctuary. For in the sanctuary, God, is here. God, you are here, and we thank you. Change our lives tonight in the name of Jesus. Good evening, everybody. Um, I have a very serious 
word for us tonight is, is actually an explanation we are to start a new series but the spirit of god would not let me start a new series there is a key that i taught in this place that the lord wants me to teach it again because we need to understand it again and again the holy spirit kept pressing on my spirit that we ought to understand some mysteries must be taught again and again and again until our spirits pick them are we together the end of revelation is that we apply these truths and they produce results in our lives and so i'm going to be challenging us on that thought and then we will pray one of the greatest prayers you can pray as a believer is that the eyes of your understanding truly be enlightened are we together the eyes of your understanding is not intelligence the eyes of your understanding is not intellect the eyes of your understanding is not philosophical knowledge the eyes of your understanding is access to the mysteries of the spirit alongside their operation you can know that these mysteries exist you see revelation is not knowing what god has said revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life knowing what god has said is not revelation when you know how to make it work in your life he told job nowhere thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth amen it's important that when we come into god's presence we listen you will think that when people come into god's presence like this the fact that you are looking at me it doesn't mean you are listening are we together people can be distracted people can be careless some can be looking with their eyes open but they are sleeping are we together all kinds of things happen it was jesus himself that told us what happened to seeds some fall by the wayside correct seed correct sower some fall by the wayside some fall in the midst of thorns some fall on a rocky ground even among the good soils three kinds of results 30 fold 60 fold 100 fold may you be a hundred fold tonight in the name of jesus christ a day will come in your life where you would have sufficiently gained access to the mysteries of the kingdom alongside the keys that release their power and let me tell you when that time comes you will be nothing short of a wonder everybody around you will know that the finger of god is upon your life we make impact in this world through mysteries we make impact in this world not through desire it takes more than desire to make true impact for the kingdom i'll share a thought with us and then we'll walk on a scripture and then we'll pray hallelujah I shared with us here for those of us who were not here please listen attentively and by the way those following us online we love you we honor you you are part of us that there are three platforms upon which impact is established please listen when God is ready to reveal himself to a man when God is ready to do business with a man upon the earth there are only three platforms as revealed from scripture upon which that man will access capacity to make impact platform number one encounters don't forget this they are not cheap they are not basic at all encounters the first platform that grants a man access to walk with God is encounter everybody say encounter encounters are very very important because they birth spiritual realities in our spirits by encounters i don't just mean visionary encounters 
even encounters through the word an experience that makes god real to you an experience that makes a dimension of god real to you it could be aided through a vision it could be aided through a supernatural experience but regardless of what platform it comes through any experience capable of making a dimension of god become real to you is called an encounter true encounters produce conviction not memory conviction a true encounter listen it doesn't just leave you with a memory it produces conviction if you tell me you've had an encounter with a dimension of god i will know i don't care whether you claim you had a vision or a scripture opened up to you when it is opened up to you the first time that you had an encounter is unusual conviction it translates to faith if god gives you an encounter of his healing power it produces conviction if god gives you an encounter of a dimension of spiritual reality it must come with conviction say conviction there are so many people in the body of christ who are not convicted about the things they teach it's one thing to teach from a theological standpoint and that's important it's one thing to teach from a sociological standpoint but it's one thing to teach from a depth of conviction it's not by shouting it's not the volume of your voice it's not the the repetition of your grammar conviction is a realm where your speaking your listeners know that the things you are saying are true with you say encounters we must crave for encounters you know people who don't really understand this thing think that all we are advocating is that people begin to have out of body experiences and they begin to propose as though you are telling people to not pay attention to the word of god to now begin to contend for angelic encounters heavenly encounters as above the word of god no the bible says god appeared um to samuel in shiloh by his word are we together he appeared by his word so an encounter doesn't necessarily mean until you see an angel and he says promise i was sent from heaven to you that from today you take the healing power of god to the nations and then every time you stand you say i remember what the angel said yes that's an encounter but there are men like reinhard bonke who had encounters they never had any visionary experience when you listen to reinhard bonke's story he will tell you that a day came they brought in a great man of god to preach the man preached the first day and told all the sick people to come by the second day and the morning of the second day reinhard bonke was excited because they were going to wheel all kinds of sick people in africa if you tell people to bring the sick they are obedient they will bring the sick whether they are related to them or not they will that sense of nationhood will kick in they will drag every sick person and so they brought those people and the preacher told reinhard bonke he said the lord told me to pack up my things and get out of this place you will preach and you will heal reinhard bonke said no 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 no. you can't be playing i mean you are the great man of god i'm only here to encourage you and he said i'm sorry i have to be on my way reinhard bonke said he cried and cried because his ministry was about to be shredded into pieces and then all of a sudden that's an encounter the word of the lord comes you don't read it it comes in the fifth day of the fifth month of this the word of the lord came there's the one you try to get but the one that comes is what produces encounter and reinhard bonke just looked and said lord I will go and do the preaching and you will do the healing and that was it a man who has produced a ministry that has liberated africa encounters you can be reading a scripture you can be reading john 3 16 but one day the word of the lord will come to you for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him when that encounter comes you can sing songs like yes jesus loves me you sang it in sunday school it was not an encounter it was a recitation but when it comes as an encounter 
you will sing that song and you are crying and somebody looks at you and says ah, ah, you are deeper than this and he said that's the point it has not come to you but it came to me are we together encounters my life is a testimony of encounters i can point to you exact periods in my life where certain things happen that birthed certain convictions that have been responsible for releasing certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities may god give us encounters the meeting is called koinonia and the first thing you should get is an encounter if you are a prayer leader without an encounter a pastor without an encounter an apostle a prophet whatever you call yourself a time will come your lack of assurance will become evident to those you are leading are we together it's not by bold face bold face is not encounter i know god will show up please encounters produce convictions unto death but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded say god give me encounters say it again god give me encounters you believe god has called you into the ministry of kingdom wealth but you are not sure you don't have encounters so you are hoping you will be rich to prove to people that you were called into the ministry of kingdom financing you lack encounters listen an encounter makes your conviction as your primary evidence not physical results your conviction becomes your primary evidence so god can call you to the nations as at the time you are speaking the only other listener is your wife but you still say god called me to the nations i love men of convictions conviction conviction we we live in a result driven a carnal result driven generation where until you produce physical results that can be seen people oftentimes will not believe you so you will need encounters let me tell you so that when things do not happen the way you want you are still left with your encounter job said though he slay me yet will i trust him i know him the god in the mountain is still god in the valley let me tell you why many people gas out many pastors many preachers i've seen a lot of preachers say god sent me to so 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 city when the city became too hot and whipped them they left quietly encounters give you stamina encounters give you stamina encounters give you stamina he said if you turn aside in the day of battle he said your strength is small one guy came and met me one time and he said god has called him into the apostolic ministry i said congratulations a few months later it became too hot for him and he came back he said i get it now i'm an evangelist i said go. i told him i said go for a retreat a retreat that produces an encounter because he thought it's just in a name usually when it becomes too hot people change persecution <laughs> we think the name will give you access for preaching fast so you say i am prophet a and b and c and then the heavy controversy that lands on your head you quietly remove it and say i am pastor joshua selman <laughs> say encounters may god give us encounters Amen. one big secret in my life is that god used encounters to convince me of my call solid encounters both visionary encounters word encounters prophetic encounters that's why no matter what anybody says or does i will never even pray about it that's how certain i am when you try to explain things to people you don't have conviction enough please talk to someone by your side and say get conviction get conviction strong conviction are we together strong conviction 
we doubt and we fall by the wayside and we make a mess of and you know it's a terrible thing to brag so much before people and then you are now forced to defend your advocacy but the encounter that will sponsor your confidence is not there if i believe god has called me to carry the healing anointing and there are 100 wheelchairs and i pray for them and nobody gets healed i tell them may god bless you and uh, have a nice day and i'll go to sleep and someone says but man of god ah it's either you are backsliding or something has happened i will go back and challenge myself to rise greater but i'll not go back saying god if it's that i didn't hear you well can you explain to me again no we're laughing but i'm trusting that god is speaking to us encounters do you know that the world follows men of conviction if i am a thief today there is a there is a certainty about my stealing that will force you to say look this guy knows what he's doing he's worth hearing terrorists are men of encounter and conviction they have met spirits the spirits told them certain things so while the government is trying to advise them and say why don't you become nice social beings they say all of you are confused and we are out to kill you and bomb you and you say are you sure you'll do this yes what of your life what of your wife and your family and they say to hell with them conviction from an encounter what encounter do you have that sponsors your confidence oh i saw god give a jimmy this it's not enough reason you must have a personal encounter we lack this a lot i'm taking out time to help you understand this we lack this a lot in the body of christ you can borrow joshua selman's revelation listen to one koinonia message and just write everything out and preach in a conference and say god said there is this and that and that but you know there is a way people look through you and they see that even you as you are preaching you are just saying lord i hope i'm right i'm about to pray joshua Selman prayed after that message and now i'm about to pray after my own then you stand and speak and say i see angels everywhere whether or not you are seeing them because you thought i was lying so now you say i see angels overflow are you ready say yes no encounter that's how preachers disgrace themselves convention after convention till everybody in your circle stops bringing you for meetings because you have a track record of copying with no results someone can guide you but the ultimate journey is that you meet christ you meet him not just theologically but you have an encounter say amen, amen. it's good to know the god of joshua selman but stay until that God becomes your God. The people told the woman, the, the Samaritan woman, he said, we believe you now, not just because you told us. We have seen him for ourselves. You came and introduced us, but ah, talking with him, he did something to us. In the name of Jesus, may God give us encounters over your business, over your life over your family so that when you go and you look at your cgpa and you look at it from 4.5 god forbid but you drop to 3.5 and you see three carryovers you don't suddenly say ah and god said i'll be a leader god you must come and you see some prayers are, are revelations of the doubts you've been nursing for many years so what you have feared secretly now comes upon you and you say god but you told me now you told me eh? you told me that this brother will marry me this one that he has done introduction what are you saying don't make noise until you have the burning bush experience we brag too much on hearsay i watch preachers talk sometimes and i'm saying be careful oh jesus is lord but his lordship is exercised with wisdom and understanding If you are not healed in this meeting except i'm not called hey at the end of the meeting only two people are healed 
encounters encounters i pray for them i create the atmosphere for them i desire them in my life encounters it's not about reading the bible genesis to revelation it's not about quoting scripture as important as it is it's not about a display of greek and hebrew words encounters produce convictions convictions produce faith faith moves mountains it's not what you do is the conviction behind what you do number two the second platform upon which men do business with god is a comprehension or access to the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom revelation of the mysteries of the kingdom an encounter is one you meet a person in an encounter but you must comprehend the principles of the kingdom is god helping us tonight your knowledge of the principles the working knowledge of the principles of the word of god is another platform for you to activate a life and a destiny of impact so what principles do you know it says and i will give you the keys right and whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven king james says whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven amplified says whatever you allow whatever you disallow the power to release realities and the power to close doors is called the key of david your life there is a dimension of impact in your life hear me brothers and sisters that is a product of the mysteries that you know this is what i define as dominion You've heard me say it again and again. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom. We've spent this year, as much as many other years, dissecting these mysteries. Under the teaching secrets of the kingdom, the series, get it, secrets of the kingdom, right? I taught you six mysteries that control mighty, dramatic manifestations upon the earth. Mystery number one, I taught you, is the law of surrender. The law of surrender. That this is the mystery that holds the key to unusual amounts of unction upon the lives of people. Complete surrender. Complete surrender. Mystery number two is the power of a transformed mind. For as he thinketh in his heart, right? So he's so he is i told you realities are first formed in the realm of the spirit before they find expression in the physical realm so you never try to change anything by physically trying to alter it you alter it from the realm of the spirit and it changes mystery number three is the law of competence seest thou a man diligent in his business he says he shall not stand before mean men he shall stand before kings are we together we we did this very very mystery number four i explained to you the secret of coming out of situations that are about to swallow you in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path that's what the bible says he said trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding a time must come in a man's life where you face challenges that are bigger than your current level of exposure you don't know anything about that challenge nor how to go out at that time the key is to acknowledge him he says in all thy ways acknowledge him praise is a weapon for acknowledgement so as you begin to acknowledge him there is a promise attached he said he will make straight your path mystery number five is the mystery I call it the irrefutable mystery of destiny helpers. Men and women anointed, commanded, instructed to appear in your destiny and take you to the next level. 
I'm doing a recap. It, it, please, I, I don't know how to plead with you. Believe what I'm teaching you and understand it and you will change your life. There are three kinds of destiny helpers I shared with us the other time. Number one, they are called divine connectors. They do not have the ability to help you, but they can link you to where your help is. Divine connectors. Number two, men of influence. They have the capacity, both the economic power, both the governmental power, right? The intellectual prowess to endorse you and open up doors for you. An example of such a person is Joseph of Arimathea. A man who, through his influence, Jesus was ordered to come down from the cross and buried in a tomb. You need them. And then number three, faithful men. The third kind of destiny helpers, faithful men. 400 of these men came to David. David was running. He was a failure. He was broke. He was on his way. Ministry had packed up. But 400 men came and they entered a covenant with themselves to be loyal to him until he became king. And then the last mystery, which in my opinion is the most powerful, maybe secondary to only an encounter, is the law of honor. Hebrews 7.7 7. And without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the greater. I told you that there is a system in the body of Christ. Nobody blesses himself. You cannot lift yourself to a new dimension. Are we together? No matter how anointed you are, no matter how great you are, at every point in your life, there are people below you trusting God for your grace to lift them. There are people above you. There are those who already represent what your future aspirations are. And there are people who you represent their future aspiration. The recognition of that is the key to living where you are to the next level. You ignore the law of honor, you will pay for it dearly. You ignore the law of honor, you will pay for it dearly. There are human beings that represent systems. The recognition of what they represent alongside the possibilities God has opened unto them will bring you into their realm of reality. Honor is the key to access. Every time a door closes over your life, dishonor closed it. And every time a door opens over you, honor opened it. So there are many other mysteries that we have to learn. I can teach you mystery upon mystery upon mystery. One of it is he that wants friends must first show himself friendly. Now, you read these things as verses until God opens your eyes. Then you will see the reason why many people never have the gift of men because they are not friendly. To be friendly does not mean to be a clown. To be friendly means to be hospitable. Are we together? It says that you neglect not being hospitable for in it, many have entertained angels unaware. It was through hospitality Sarah trapped the angels and they gave a revelation about the inevitable doom of Sodom and Gomorrah. And it was on the strength of that hospitality that Abraham was given access to that mystery. And with it, he rescued Lot. Praise the Lord. The third platform upon which men receive from God and create lives of notable impact in the earth is covenant connection. Covenant connection. Covenant connection. May God make us believe what I'm sharing. May God make us believe it. May God make us believe it in the name of Jesus Christ. Covenant connection. The Bible speaking about men and describing the nature and the character of their success says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the, sin, the seat of the scornful. It says, But his delight... What is in the law of the Lord and on that law he meditates day and night. Then he says he shall be. This is how his success will be. In the similitude of that of a tree. If the Bible says you shall be like something, study that thing. It says the success of a believer 
will be like that of a tree. How does a tree rise? Number one, it is planted. From the stem that rises, branches begin to come. All branches do not move in the same direction. But regardless of their direction, the strength of the branches are determined by the strength of the vine that they are connected to. They may face different directions and the trees can grow so tall, taller than buildings. And the trees can stand for years and decades. Branches fall and rise. They are pruned and they come again. But the stem connected to the root remains intact. Any branch that cuts itself outside of the vine dies. You don't water the branches. You water the roots. And it has a system. Are we together? Trying to pour water on leaves is a waste of time. A system. So he said he shall be like a tree. Listen. Our personal spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advancement is based on covenant. Please you have to understand this. Our personal work with God is based on relationship. However kingdom advancement is based on covenants. Not the covenant of Moses. Not the covenant of the New Testament. I'm not talking old and new covenant. A covenant is a system through which God guarantees a continuity of his program. Now listen, listen, look up please. Let me teach you this. Get it, get it in the name of Jesus Christ. The way the kingdom works is through the principle of covenant and alignment. Please listen. So what happens is that every dispensation has a dimension of spiritual realities that they should experience which is part of the ongoing unfolding of the multifaceted dimension of god are we together so every dispensation has a dimension of god earmarked for them to experience but the nature and the character of that revelation is such that when god wants to come in in a dimension to a territory and a dispensation his first assignment is to find a man say a man when he finds a man he enters a personal covenant with that man that personal covenant becomes the platform upon which that dimension of god is revealed to the dispensation no other person will access that dimension in that dispensation out of alignment to the person in covenant with god are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. God will not reveal the same thing to everybody. He will reveal the same thing to one person and direct every other person who wants to experience that part of him to align with the covenant that he has had upon that man or upon that system. Are we together? The yardstick that he uses to bring men to that experience is called an election of grace it has nothing to do necessarily with their personal yieldedness it is part of his sovereignty and his predeterminate counsel so god calls men every time you are talking about redemption the journey of redemption and the doctrine of christ starts from abraham not noah not adam are we together whether it's Christianity, whatever kind of religion, the moment they are communicating the doctrine of Christ, the genesis of the blueprint of the doctrine of Christ starts from Abraham. God called one man to come out of a place called Or of the Chaldeans, Genesis chapter 12, right? He wanted to use his father, Terah, but something happened. And he, the, the, you know, the baton passed on to Abraham and he called Abraham an idol worshiper out of all of the chaldeans and he called him and he said look i am calling you out come out of your father's house your kindred and all of that and i will do certain things with you and abraham obeyed him there are so many people in the bible that represents god's covenant point there are portals that open their dispensation and their generations to certain dimensions of god that law 
did not die with the coming and the going of Jesus Christ there are still men today that represent new dimensions of God or continuity of his program hmm. are we together alongside your encounter alongside your comprehension of the laws of the spirit your covenant connection to men or systems that represent the continuity of God in that dimension but this is where Satan cheats a lot of people please listen to me carefully this is something else I'm talking about but we need to understand this God asked me to reiterate these things you know why we honor men we honor men for many reasons number one is the anointing they carry number two the sacrifice that they have with god that has brought certain levels of possibilities in their life number three is the spiritual system that they represent when david wanted permission to fight goliath do you know the question saul asked he said whose son is this in other words i want to know the tribe he came from so that i know whether this can be possible this boy is too young i'm a king but I need to know where he's coming from so we can trace the history of the spiritual deposits God left with that tribe. And when they found out that David was of the Benjamite, he said, go and fight. David came to him and he said, Goliath, I know you think I'm a small boy, but there is a tribe standing before you, not a person. Watch what happens to you now. Goliath said, am I a dog? David said, we will we'll see who, who is the dog. I have seen people in my life who never become billionaires but they never lack whether they pray or not even when they are not tithing it's a covenant there is something they are connected to whether they know it or not that affords them those spiritual possibilities <sighs> open our eyes oh god in the name of jesus christ i have seen pastors who when they stand to teach you will almost sleep but when they call upon the god of heaven he shows up it's not personal encounter in fact many of them may have a lot of character defaults and while you are talking about their character it's like god owes them his presence they call him and he must show up there is a covenant he respects he says my covenant will i not break nor alter the thing that is gone forth from my mouth are we together so some of our people although they were in the village with witchcraft they had 16 children one woman 16 children and yet after 16 children the woman is still standing her stomach is still as flat as an arrow you wonder whether the children grew in a basket it's a covenant brothers and sisters it's not about knowing what drug to take some things are spiritual when they are spiritual they show and you see it Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Hmm. Oh, you better believe it. So that when you look at a man, you know that not every result you see was initiated by his personal altar. When you know that, there will be no room for pride when God begins to give you results. Because you will know that certain dimensions of your result are purely an issue of alignment. Purely an issue of what? Alignment. Spiritual alignment. There was a time, for instance, in living faith, it still happens, where there were strange testimonies, 2005, 2006, creative, those ones were, it's what the Bible calls the walking of miracles, not testimonies, where a man would tell you, I was a cleaner, and by Sunday, the owner of the company said he's leaving Nigeria, and they made me a CEO. Strange testimonies. So you see somebody who drag himself and he's sleeping while they are preaching. Sleeping. They say in Jesus' name, he never says amen. He's even angry. But something still came on him. With the anger, he turns and he leaves and goes back and the landlord says, you are staying five years in this house. The rent is, is free. And the man says, I don't understand what is happening to me. Two weeks later, they call him and say, there is a job we want to give you. And he says, I don't understand. There is a covenant. When God looks at you, he sees the covenant. There is power in the name of Jesus. 
There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. If you know this thing I'm teaching you, you can you can make it's not a license to sin you can make the worst blunder on earth quarter to shame the covenant kicks in and god says i remember <sighs> jonah jonah was running as a rebel but god used what happened to describe what will happen to jesus jonah he says the same way jonah was in the belly of the fish was that a good testimony yeah jesus used it God had Solomon for the sake of his father, David. When Solomon dedicated the temple, he lifted the temple and he said, Lord, I enter a covenant with you that whoever faces this temple and pray, whether their faith level is there or not, hearken to them. So in the days of Daniel, they signed a policy and they said nobody should pray. Daniel knew that if he will use his personal faith, he's a human being. The truth about it is that it was not just his personal spiritual life. So he opened the window to Jerusalem and he started praying. And listen, that was why he was sure when they were about to throw him in the lion's den. God did not show up because of Daniel. He showed up because of the covenant. What have you enjoyed in your life because of covenant connection? Some of us, every good thing that has happened to you has come because of your, your personal push, which is good. But brothers and sisters, the demand that life will place on you will be greater than your spiritual life. And if you have to wait till you become strong, you may not even live for that to happen. There are people in Koinonia here, they are not tightening, but they are having strange results. They, even them, they are doubting, they are saying, what's wrong? Something is covering you. It's a covenant. Break every chain. Break every chain. Those who know this do business with God upon the earth and open strange doors. Strange doors. Strange doors. Living Faith Redeemed and MFM. There are three ministries that have seen them with such a strange covenant of, of ownership. They can enter any land regardless of the vow the government made not to give them land. They must give them land as much as they want. It's a revelation. Are we together? Brothers and sisters, some things are not just about fasting and prayer. There is an advantage God placed in the body. And if you are not aware of it, you may never step into certain dimensions. Never step into certain dimensions. I came to show you certain things. God said I should teach it again. If God says I should teach it, it means many of us did not get it. There are certain things in my life I will, I will never suffer and struggle over. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that foolish. I am not that foolish. You see, it's a painful thing when you are suffering certain things that is available by covenant to the tribe you belong to. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Elijah was a man who had a covenant with God that represented the system of the prophetic and the apostolic. He had other sons called the sons of the prophet. Is that true? But he had a strange man who was a farmer called Elisha. Elisha was not a prophet. Elisha was a farmer. He casted his mantle upon him and Elisha started following him. Join other prophets. Listen. And then the Bible says a time came when Elijah, Elijah was about to go to heaven. Is that a normal human being? Is that how you go to heaven? But that's how he went to heaven. That's how you know that it's not a normal human being. He knew where the gate of heaven was beyond the Jordan. He said, I'm about to leave. He knew where to wait for the chariots. Ah. A man was taking fresh air on a mountain 
and they came to harass him he used one of the elements of the supernatural called fire he said i will not just use my mouth if i be a man of god let fire come from heaven he prayed once and fire came is that how you pray when you stand look at what he, hi koinonia hear what i'm teaching you listen when they were about to judge the prophets of Baal, there are some dimensions of witchcraft that is your covenant of connection that dislodges them. Not just your personal prayer and fasting. When the prophets of Baal were there, they were prophets under the custody of Jezebel. And look at the mockery. Elijah said, laugh. He said, he said, cut yourself, shout. Maybe your God is sleeping. Look, if I am Elijah, I will be fasting. <laughs> Deliver me, O God. Wipe my tears. For the sake of your glory. I will be writing out the worship songs, looking for somebody to play a cymbal. But here was a man crossing his leg and mocking at them. From morning till evening, he laughed because he knew they were wasting their time. After everything, they caught themselves so that their God will see blood. And remember their covenant with him when they tried singing and praising and it did not work they danced around the prophets of Baal they started bringing blood what is blood the covenant Baal remember our covenant as prophets with you and Elijah shut the heavens and said keep calling on him then when it was time for Elijah I thought Elijah would have just said all right God fire come down he would have been surprised he said give me 12 stones 12 stones listen listen let me teach you something the bible says in the new jerusalem it said the gates of the city there were 12 gates and the gates had a name of the 12 tribes of israel every one of those tribes represented a dimension of god and 12 foundations having the name of the apostles he said give me 12 stones and the prophets of Baal were watching after it he put a sacrifice and then he said pour water the water was a mystery it was not just trying to say so that you don't think i hit fire because there are three forces that open the gates in this earth realm the spirit the water and the blood so he said pour water afterwards he lifted his eyes to the heaven the pattern was correct follow me and he said oh god and the fire the bible said the fire came licked the sacrifice and swept everything right and then hear what he said the moment that happened he said pursue all the prophets of Baal don't let one escape and kill them hear me people of God there are dimensions there are kinds of mountains that were never designed to be approached alone we fool ourselves thinking because we know God every mountain will just go like that he said, all things are possible but they are they are possible based on the knowledge available to you if you can see me as i'm going you will have something the moment he left and he held the mantle he would have gone to the well and say i am a man of god part he would have been surprised he said where is the lord god as far as god was concerned he did not see elisha he saw the covenant did the water obey absolutely do you know why joshua was successful god transferred a mystery to him as i was with moses as i was the way i related with him so i will relate with you he said and because of that no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life so when the angel appeared joshua removed his knife and he was going to kill the angel the angel had to explain he would have died the word of God would have killed the angel not the sword of Joshua he said are you for us or against us and the angel said hold on neither he had to explain because a man was running with the word of God the Bible says for instance it says where two or three are gathered where in my name the meaning is as touching my authority there is a dimension of God that only shows up 
under corporate fellowship you will never have that dimension alone in your room fast for 100 days you will not see those things that was why the psalmist was crying he said early will i seek you he said to see your power and your glory in my life as i have seen in the sanctuary there's something i've seen that only happens when believers gather i've not seen it can you make it happen in my life hallelujah he says if two of you shall agree hold my hands and me as touching anything there are certain levels of prayer that is not just about i am alone the veil has been torn I, I'm, I'm alone i can access christ it's a system there are certain levels of difficulty that when two or three agree you can just say one prayer that was why the apostles when they were threatening them did they pray individually Acts chapter 4. Remember they came together because they understood this. It took that kind of grace to bring the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. They could not pray alone and have the Holy Spirit come. So when the Bible says Acts chapter 2 verse 1. Now when the day of Pentecost was fully come. It said they were all gathered in one accord. That formation gave the Holy Spirit room to come. In Acts chapter 4 when they threatened them. They came together and said, Lord, behold their threatenings. He says, stretch forth your right hand now to heal. And that signs and wonders be wrought through your holy child. And the building shook. There is a difference between your personal prayer life and the body of Christ. The body of Christ is a mystery of possibilities. When you understand the mysteries that govern the body of Christ, you will do things that you will never imagine you would have done. Are we together? I remember when a few people wrote jam here. You were, you were testaments of the things. Marks being added. I'm not talking of those 40, 40 marks. You see people, someone will check his jam, 197. Go and check again, 231. How did that happen? Look, let me tell you something. When you see a man of God study the systems around his life, don't just say this person is anointed Kai, he has power what makes the heaven owe him it's like it's like god god owes certain men of god a debt he must pay even if they call his name joking he has to show up there is something that makes that happen my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god our covenant is calling you oh god take my praise oh god take my praise oh god sing it one more time my altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. It's calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Listen. Let me tell you something powerful. Numbers 24. Let me do my teaching now. Mike. Numbers 24. Let me share something with you that will break some gates open. I want your spirit to be sensitive. Something will happen in this place today. Numbers 24. Balaam was called by Balak to curse the nation of Israel. I've shared it here. The Lord asked me to repeat it, so I'm repeating it. Now listen. And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, it's actually 23, 24. I'm jumping for time's sake. Follow the story. 
he went not as in other times to seek for enchantment now there's a lot to say about Balaam the Bible talks about the doctrine of Balaam the error of Balaam the way of Balaam there is a long story on that I don't want to go into that but he set his face towards the wilderness let's rush it go ahead and Balaam lifted his eyes Balaam wanted to find out where listen listen let me explain the whole scene for you a prophet is brought by Balak and he said cause koinonia make things to start going wrong for people are we together now Balaam tells them look oh, I am a prophet in other words I don't speak the way I want so as we stand here whatever you hear me say is what God is saying agreed they said agreed so they brought gifts Balaam would have sought God by lifting his face to the hills that's the key Sammy said I will lift up my eyes to the hills they know where their help comes from but now Balaam used enchantment so that God would not be able to prophesy through him are you getting the story he used divination to invoke spirits so that they will prophesy so Balaam stood and after he used those enchantments he was about to curse and his mouth produced blessings and he was surprised he moved to another place again and used invocations about to speak and he blessed them he went to another place about to speak and he blessed them and Balaam said Balak was angry and he said what is all this I brought you to curse them all that has been coming out of your mouth is blessings please watch this and Balaam lifted his eyes to check they were on a mountain and he said no I'm a prophet let me look what is the reason why no cause is working and this is what he saw hallelujah and he saw Israel abiding in what his tents there was a spiritual formation from the valley Israel were wise people they didn't just say let's rest they said ah it is possible that the kings will come and destroy us so let us engage the formation there is a pattern mm. They arrange themselves according to their tribes with the ark of God being at the center. And they said, let's see who will curse us. They kept the ark there. So when Balaam stood at the mountain to curse the ark, fought him back. And he said, I don't know what is wrong. I can't curse them. I can't curse them. Then listen to what he said. According to their tribes. And finally the spirit of God came upon him. This is what he said. The secret and he took a parable that's how prophets remember Hosea chapter 12 I have spoken in similitudes or parables I have multiplied visions he took a parable and he said Balaam the son of Beor had said speaking about himself and the man whose eyes are open talking about himself had said verse 4 and he had said which heard the words of God which saw the visions of the Almighty falling into a trance but having his eyes open verse 5 how goodly are thy tents O Jacob and thy tabernacles O Israel that's the secret I look at your tent and your spiritual formation and I see you arranged in a way that no cause no enchantment that's why he said no divination no enchantment against Jacob it's not just because they are Christians please listen to what I'm teaching you now there was a spiritual pattern and literally Balaam as a true prophet could not cause them they didn't fight they just could not cause them when it was 10 in in second Chronicles 20 verse 20 or oh, well we'll read from verse 15 downwards if there's time they were about to fight three kings came together to fight them and the bible said they had another formation Kai. these guys use formations for victory not stories they inquired of the lord what pattern will produce the result and they said let the worshipers be in front and when the worshipers were in front together with the ark the warriors were behind he said this is not an issue of sword and they began to sing hearken all judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem and thou king jehoshaphat thus saith the lord be not afraid or dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but the lord's let's read down quickly tomorrow go up against them and so on and so forth 17. listen 
he said ye shall not what set yourselves and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord O Judah and Jerusalem fear not or be dismayed tomorrow you go up against them verse and Joseph had bowed his head this and that and that verse 19 there's something I'm looking for now listen and the Levites and the children of the Kohathites and of the children of all of those people stood up to what praise the Lord of the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high right and then of course they rose early in the morning and then when they began to praise you know a prophecy came next verse he says and when he had consulted the people he appointed what look at the formation who did he appoint do you use musicians to fight war musicians to fight war three kings about to kill you i hope you know they were not acting it was real death but there was a pattern it says and they should praise the beauty of his holiness and as they went out before the army and to say praise the lord for his mercy endured forever what happened and when they began to sing and to praise the lord set ambushment against the children of ammon moab and mount Seir, which were come against judah and were smitten next verse for the children of this stood up to slay themselves read the last sentence if you're a christian want to read everyone helped to destroy military people killing themselves there were two left and he said who dies first say you either kill the other person and kill himself while they were doing that other people were there invoking a pattern listen there's something i teach the school of ministry students called the reflection principle listen i want to teach you something very powerful it's a principle that is used in occultism it's a principle that is used it was an an aberration of god's principle listen you only host a spirit and a dimension of the possibility of a spirit if you create the atmosphere for that spirit to feel at home as though it were in its primary place of habitation are you getting what i'm saying so if the ambassador of u.s comes to the u.s consulate office in abuja it was designed to accommodate him his appetites the colors the architecture are we together there is a pattern based on the ideology of the united states they built the embassy that way so whether he is in nigeria or he's in america it does not make any difference to him because the embassy in nigeria reflects the dexterity and the glory of america are we together now watch this if i want a spirit any spirit please give me this sir. sorry no if i want a spirit assuming i'm a herbalist i am not a herbalist assuming i'm a herbalist are we together and i want a spirit to come upon this i'm not just going to say spirit come spirit break out and then you think it will come no there is i must find out what that spirit is and the nature of its operation and the kind of atmosphere that makes it come and i will make this water become like the atmosphere the spirit must come atmospheres are magnets they draw spirits and they draw possibilities to the earth and to territories please listen to this this is very important so this is what the psalmist said the holy ghost wanting to come into the new creation he said a body has thou prepared you prepared it in such a way that when i come into that body it will be as though i am in heaven when the body was prepared the spirit could come and that body today is called the ecclesia the body of christ it was built in a particular way christ the foundation the apostolic and the prophetic and then the, it rises and he said that body you have prepared for me so god is able to function on earth because of the body that has been prepared for him are we together now 
when during our traditional festivals when they want to see certain spirits what do the masquerades do or the priest they wear a particular attire having a particular kind of animal skin alligator skin then some use snakes some use hyenas come on talk to me africa are we together so we have don't don't act as if you came from 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 the middle east we are here we are home amen they use fire they provoke these spirits they start chanting tongues and start moving in a particular direction they can move here small and come back again they can run and come back while they are doing that someone can be playing drums are we together and then at a particular point the snake will start coming out when the snake starts coming out they start dancing and putting fire because the snake is reflecting what is happening in the realm of the spirit so the gods are now coming the moment that happens what happens it's like people are under the anointing even the priests they are under their anointing they start doing crazy things they took fire in their mouth and nothing happens because a spirit landed let me tell you why it landed there was a pattern i counseled one man um on on tuesday on wednesday in abuja before i came He's one of the popular Nigerian directors, directors of Nigerian film, you know, and all of that. And he told me something. He said, man of God, most of the Nigerian films you see us acting, the snake we use, they are real snakes. But what they do is they go to charmers. You know, these guys are charm snakes. So they give them a particular ring so that they can pick the snake and nothing will happen. The ring has a pattern. It's a language the snake understands. That's why sometimes it backfires because those powers expire they must be renewed if at the point of expiration you are the one holding the snake the snake that you were you were in nice romance with would turn and enjoy you immediately are we together patterns so there are men whose lives are patterns you curse them it returns back to you and you are wondering see it is on this basis that you can say i am uncursable now the problem with the church is we say revelations without we we make statements without the spiritual revelation that activates those possibilities i am uncursable in the name of jesus and you find out there's a cause at work in your life clearly everybody knows you are cursed you am not cursed you are cursed we are seeing it it is on the strength of this there is a pattern don't laugh are we together so someone can vow like they vowed to paul and they said paul we will not eat nor drink until you are until you die and paul lived many years afterwards i'm teaching you something you can do on earth that is is like a spiritual formation that will make the holy spirit respond to you in a certain way and you will see doors open and you'll be wondering what happened is a pattern balaam stood on the mountain and he saw the pattern and he said i can't cause them i'm trying i'm making efforts listen i can't tell you how many times on my way to travel people will call me and say apostle i just had a dream are you about to travel i say yes they say please sir don't travel i love you so much koinonia loves you i just had a dream this morning and in that dream i saw a plot and i saw that you had a ghastly motor accident and you died and then i said okay i appreciate now they are not they are not lying they saw it and what they saw was correct but there is a pattern kabarato satayaba David, I'm come and sing a song there, my spirit. Your influence is all over me, right? I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. And your influence is all over me. Let's say
Hallelujah. Please sit down. Listen. Brothers and sisters. When it comes to kingdom advancement. Don't just think of your personal spiritual life alone. There are limitations to your personal spiritual life. As far as kingdom advance is concerned. There are certain strategies of witchcraft. That it takes more than you as a person to conquer. It's not that Christ is not king of kings and lord of lords. Please hear me. Is a lord there are formations there are things that have been engaged that requires the strength of the body not your strength alone if you do not understand this you will have a lot of casualties and you will mock yourself spiritual patterns formations that make men forbidable on earth they wanted to curse you just like somebody from your village now wants to curse you and you have been saying in the name of Jesus I'm uncursable I agree with you potentially but you have to engage the mystery that makes your word valid otherwise you will be shouting I will not be cursed until they, they, they kill you like a chicken are we together please listen listen There are three of these spiritual patterns that I want you to learn tonight. I don't know if we can touch all three, but we'll stop somewhere and pray. The first of that pattern listen is the power of altars an altar is a pattern I'm not talking altar like coven no an altar is a token that represents a point where covenants are enacted every time a covenant is enacted an altar is raised on earth as a memorial you see that all through in scripture every time people had covenants with God or with themselves they raised what altars an altar is nothing diabolic at all an altar is just a token it's a representation it doesn't even have to be physical a representation please listen a representation a platform that affords covenant to not only be renewed not only be remembered but to be activated three things happen on altars renewal right continuity or servicing if you want to call it and then the third is activation spiritual realities are activated upon altars listen please listen every man of God every true ministry called of God has an altar they may not call it altar they may call it all kinds of things some call it covenant some call it altar I don't care what they call it but this is what it is it is a token that represents a covenant between God and that man and serves as a memorial the altar that was raised in the day of of um, Noah when he raised that altar there was a sign of a rainbow is that true and God gave this as a token when circumcision itself is a token I hope you know when you circumcise a child it's a revelation that was given to Abraham circumcise them Joshua circumcise them the power and the revelation of the patterns that altars create are things we should never take for granted especially in such a wicked world koinonia has an altar you hear us sing that song my it's nothing diabolic i don't mean babala or something no, that's not what i'm talking about as a person 
there are covenants that I've had through my encounters with God that have become the platforms upon which certain possibilities ride. The same way I have gleaned upon the covenant of others with God and it has become an advantage it has boosted my personal spiritual life it has boosted the possibilities that i can see in my own life please hear me and i want you to be sensitive we're about to pray be very sensitive right now when abel died when cain killed abel what cried please answer me what cried and he said the blood of Abel cries and the blood is speaking Abel is dead the blood is saying revenge you have to bring vengeance upon Cain and Jesus now says that even his blood too speaks the only difference is that his blood speaks better things which were predicated on a better covenant are we together there are altars that speak over the lives and the destinies of men. Please listen, listen, listen. I want to give you spiritual intelligence. You don't bind an altar. It was enacted by covenant. It's called the law of displacement. There are two lights. They keep shining until a greater light comes. Then it overshadows them. Are we together? These are spiritual laws so many people do not know the foundation upon which their predicaments are coming they think it's just an issue of personal retreat for three days have you seen people who are praying and fasting on the last day of the fast what they were praying against is what happens maybe somebody sleeps with you in a dream and you charge and get angry and you go and say look three days i'm praying on the third day drive fast you are looking like a skeleton you are about to break. You just decided to take a nap for the last 30 minutes. And here the person comes. As if your prayer made nonsense. In the prayer you are shouting, Jesus, Jesus. And the person is just looking at you. And say, keep shouting your Jesus there. And comes to do exactly what he said to do. You know why I know this thing so well? Because it happened in my life. Have you heard my story? Wicked spirits will come and oppress me. And come into my room. My own was not even an experience. I see them they see me but I couldn't do anything about it some of you say I shouted Jesus the pastor said, shout it well you shouted it well nothing happened please don't laugh I'm giving you a mystery because we're about to pray are we together we have lost the advantage of the patterns that God gave the body it's not about an individual's personal success there are times when the secret to your breakthrough is based on alignment to covenants that God has had and he will respond to you and have respect for the covenant are we together there are people who have a covenant with God that every time they show up in a city there must be breakthroughs so they show up in a city to have a crusade and when they show up to have a crusade people who have no business with that crusade receive breakthroughs that have nothing to do with that ministry because for as long as that individual is there that territory has an advantage of tapping into the covenant that he has are you getting what i'm saying there are people who personally their prayer life is dead but when they get to the prayer department on Tuesday to pray, you find out that you who was struggling to pray for five minutes, you now stretch for two hours. It's because something picked you. That's why you can go back home and say, ah, ah. So it is God's system to help you so that even when your spiritual life is down, Satan will still not be able to reach you. Before you come back to life, there is a system that covers you. Altars. That we can take advantage of there are men who when they come into a city you know everything shakes it's not by the loudness of the publicity but they come in with the presence they carry they come in with the covenants that they carry and you find out that there are strange results strange testimonies that happen to people and then they leave 
will find somewhere and stop i want to pray my life has changed like day and night because of this truth that i have discovered i found it as a key because there were certain limitations in my life though anointed though a great man of god though having encounters with jesus at a point in my life there were certain mountains that would not move there were certain doors that would not open regardless of what i did and i said lord but your word says if i have faith like a monster seed i know that i have faith and then god began to teach me for this cause many are weak for this cause many are sick for this cause many do sleep because they cannot discern the body their inability to discern the body that has been prepared to host the spirit everything is possible but you need to know how to make it possible you need to know how to make it possible this night looking at me and hearing me by the thousands are men and women who have done certain things alone you have struggled spiritually you love god you have held on to some of these principles but the truth is that door has refused to open you have done what you know to do i show you the third key you must engage it's called the power of alignment to covenants the power of alignment to covenants the power of alignment to covenants god has entered covenants with individuals he has entered covenants with systems please i can beg you some of you are looking for admission listen to what i'm telling you and get into school otherwise sit down there roaming around that you have 230 and repeat the same nonsense that has been going on some things in life will not move just by your personal faith do you know that when jesus was on earth he was not the only miracle worker please answer me is that true there was a time his disciples saw other people who were not in jesus's camp but they were still performing miracles not by bell not Beelzebub. And they said, ah, Jesus, this is, this is strange. Ah, I thought you were the Savior. And he said, I, paraphrasing, I came to introduce something new. But until the new comes, the old is still valid. There was a way miracles were done in the old covenant. There were people who believed it. There was a priesthood that made it possible. For instance, an angel would come and steer the water. Was Jesus around when it happened? No, but it happened. A particular prophet in the Bible when a woman was sick or someone was sick he made herbs leaves and put it on the legs of the person are we together if you understand what I'm teaching you then you will know that when you stand and the mountains look like they are not you have done all you know to do listen stop trying harder the key is not harder the key is step back and look at the body of christ don't look at yourself again look at the body of christ what spiritual tribe is connected to the possibility that will open the door i'm looking for you can be a man of god full of grace and prayer but you know that there is no prosperity in your ministry and you are saying lord we have prayed we have fasted this prosperity thing is not working step back and look at the body of christ a body has thou prepared for me sometimes god can give you just one instruction go to any living faith branch hold what you have as a seed and go and sow it in that you don't even have to be prayed for the moment you pray for it you go back and god says fine what you have done is called alignment to a covenant and God begins to relate with you the same way he relates with God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo. And you will find out mysteriously, mysteriously. Something happened recently. Somebody called me and they had a court case recently. 
And this court case, humanly speaking, was already against the person. There is no human way on earth he would have won that case. And when he called me, I said, tell me the truth. When he told me everything, ah, I said, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Because I, I, I know a bit about legalities. And I know that based on that thing, if he's to spend time in the prison, it will be nothing less than 10 years away from his wife and his children. But I told him, I said, well, I don't know what to tell you. But if you can believe what I want to tell you, there can be a way out. I told him, I said, I can pray for you. God has given me grace for territories and I want to pray for you. I prayed for that guy. Do you know I got to find out he didn't even show up on the day of, because of fear, he didn't show up in the court. He refused to show up. And later he would tell me that the judge looked and looked at everything and threw away the case from the court. Now, please, brothers and sisters, please, you went to school, you are intelligent. In Nigeria, who does that? <sighs> you reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on the earth. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty. The Bible says Christ is the head of all principalities. He recognizes their existence. So he says your only advantage is that I am the head. Not that you say they are not there. No. It's your Bible. I'm teaching you spiritual intelligence. But many people say, assume they are not there. Are you kidding? When they refuse Jesus from entering back, they say, who is this king of glory? He had to explain himself. Christ is the head of principalities. He said he has been made above thrones. So he recognizes them. Above dominions. And every name that is named. Not only in this earth. But in the world to come. What do you not know. That is responsible for the devil. Sinking through your life. And making it look like God is not alive. Please hear what I'm saying. A job will not just come because you think you're a Nigerian. There are mysteries. You have done, there are many arrogant pastors in ministry who are suffering. This, they've done everything to do. But the key is an alignment. An alignment that opens up spiritual possibilities. An alignment. Those who are Mina, I'm sure maybe my friend Pastor Petrock is listening. Pit Rock, you know, I love House on the Rock and all of that. When we went to Mina, Aaron, you were there. The same thing you see in Koinonia. Crowds here, overflow on top and then outside. is alignment. Brothers and sisters, you may be a musician but you can align to a system that will give you more than songs. You will find out that things are opening. You are a student but you align to somebody who is paying you salary. And they say, no, you must be sleeping with the man. You say, no, I, I, I just belong to a tribe that has a covenant with God that is respected even by hell. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, what is not at work in your life is still available. It takes humility and alignment. Many people will insult me for what I'm teaching you now because they will think I'm teaching you human worship. God is my witness. I, I, I don't have time for all of those things, but you have to be careful who you listen to. Don't let men do well-meaning to deceive you. There are systems on earth that represent spiritual possibilities. You may argue it and never see certain things happen in your life. Please hear me. Look beyond your personal strength and look at the privileges that God has put in the body. A body has thou prepared for me. A body has thou prepared. This koinonia that you look at every time. Maybe one day I will take out time and share the whole journey. So that you will know that this is not just an ambition of a man to have a ministry. If I want fame, there are easier ways. I'm not dull. I can write books. Are we together? access.
to the riches and the blessings of heaven there are covenants you align with that will open you up to possibilities I don't want to begin to give you testimonies upon testimonies hallelujah we're already preparing to buy our land I will not tell you where it is until we buy it some of you will be surprised you will open your mouth and say it's a lie you can't get land like that a property that will swallow CGC how many times in this area because when you catch the keys listen 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 I don't say this to brag I'm challenging you it's, it's not by trying no door opens to shouting it opens to keys God is giving you something now you have been writing jam you are brilliant but it's not working don't stay foolish and say I, I, I know this time around I, I got 250 no are we together possibilities there are men and women who God has put in the body of Christ in territories that's why Satan creates a lot of controversy around their life to fight them so that what you are supposed to receive will not be given to you but as we pray the devil is a liar somebody's door is about to be open rise up on your feet everybody and let's pray we are going to pray three prayer points and I want you to pray it with every every ounce of strength no carelessness no looking around you are going to cry to God prayer point number one Lord I acknowledge that I am limited as a person no matter how spiritual I am as a pastor as an apostle as a prophet as a teacher as an individual I am limited and I come before you with every sense of humility acknowledging my limitation lift your voice and pray Lord I acknowledge Lord I acknowledge I acknowledge that you have built a system you have built a system beyond the personal spiritual progress of a man you have designed this mystery called the body of Christ this strategy called the body of Christ to lift men to bail them out of captivity you have designed this mystery called the body of Christ Hallelujah. Look up, please. Prayer point number two. I want you to be sincere before God. Mention all the things you know you have tried and done all you know to do but has not changed. Mention it before God because we are about to engage a mystery. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I've prayed over this failure in my family. Nothing has seemed to change. pray outside make sure you're praying those online make sure you're praying So 
let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy light so let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy light so let hope rise darkness trembles in your own Then let hope, yeah. yeah. Abalada, abalada, da. So let hope, let it rise tonight. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Hallelujah. Listen, as holy as man tried to be, there were some things he could not do for himself. So Jesus had to come. And man's salvation now is tied to his alignment to the finished work of Christ. It's a pattern. There are times your victory will be based on the finished work of others not just of Christ but they have cried the cry for you so you don't cry again they have taken the scars for you so you don't take it again but if you do not know Satan will cheat you there are times you will stand before that Red Sea please hear me just the same please you stand before the Red Sea and the Red Sea will refuse to part you will you will invoke your personal altar. It will not open. Let me tell you, there are stubborn challenges like that in the life of a man. You will agree with your wife, your husband. It will not move. When all else fail, switch. Switch. Remember what tribe you belong to. Remember the spiritual possibilities that come. And say, oh God of salvation. Remember, remember, remember. Remember, 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 and all of a sudden, your God will arise, not for your sake. Listen, hear me. I don't know if it's a tight booklet of redeemed or living faith. I can't remember which of them. But there was a woman who had been a faithful titan. I don't know if it's redeemed or living faith. One of the ministries, she testified. And robbers came to her house and assassins to kill her and kill her husband. They stepped into the house. They were with guns. The man was there. His wife was there. All that there was was to shoot. And there was nothing to do. The man just, he knew he was gone. All else failed. And all the woman did was to bring out her tight booklet and dropped it on the ground. Remember the covenant. Is it not your house that was built with my money? Is it not souls that are saved with my money? Don't waste your time trying to say one day God will come. No, that one day you can create it. The day the pattern is there. As powerful as Jesus was, his heavens were closed until he had to encounter a man. The heavens of Jesus did not open because he was called Jesus. It was open based on the covenant that came down to John the Baptist. And so when John the Baptist saw Jesus, he said, behold the lamb. And he said, that's not the issue. My heavens are closed. And he said, suffer it to be so. I can't neglect the pattern. And when John dipped Jesus and brought him out, there was a transference and God responded. 
the heavens open and he said this is my beloved son please hear me it's not as hard as your life makes it look you just don't know what to do we are going to cry and say lord show me what i must do to come out of this challenge in my presence lift your voice and pray there is always something to do koinonia cry show me oh god what is the secret the missing link to my healing ministry the missing link to bring prosperity to my life Who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel? There is a mystery, there is a pattern, there is a mystery, there is a pattern. Let hope rise. Darkness when losing your hope be light. Let hope let it rise. Darkness when losing your hope be light. Let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. Darkness when losing your hope be light. Hallelujah. Listen. We are going to pray. Please look up, everybody. We are going to pray. Just one more prayer and I will pray for us. I'd like you to pray. This ground, not I don't mean physical ground, but this mystery called koinonia is, is enshrined in strange covenants that are responsible for possibilities. Now please pay attention. We're about to pray strategic prayer. Are we together? I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Lord, I invoke the covenant that is upon this ministry the possibilities that your appearance the sacrifices are brought I invoke it upon my life pray the covenant of open doors the covenant of his shatainah glory Access to kings, access to strange favor. Pastors, pray. Let it come upon my ministry, oh God. Pray. Let it come upon my life. Lord, I've written this jam by my strength. I've tried and tried, but I invoke the covenant. Lord, I've tried to make money. By my strength, I've fasted, I've sown seed, I invoke the covenant. Lord, I've tried to get a job, I've tried to get a job. It's not working. I cry to the God of heaven. Let hope, let hope, let it rise tonight. The covenant of long life. 
the covenant of honor strange honor access to kings access to nobles access to royalties access to power Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you pray this next prayer, listen, there will be strange impartations and strange testimonies on people. This, these are testimonies coming from heaven. Are we together? I want you to pray it with all your heart all your heart all your heart listen listen see that you are part of this great house is no guarantee that you will enjoy the blessings that come it must be intentional proximity is not connection are we together proximity is not connection i have tapped into the covenant that God has had with people who have gone higher than me and they have opened me to strange doors. Realms that I know are not realms that are as a result of my personal prayer life. I'm a product of many anointings, many graces, many spiritual possibilities. Please hear what I'm telling you. I'm stepping into a strange, I show you a deep mystery. Many of you will not appreciate it until you struggle and life whips nonsense out of you you will come back to this message and it will make sense to you there are many ministries that are anointed but they may never grow they have done all they need to do they have prayed there are groups there are all kinds of sincere people around you've done all you know to do listen you were not designed to do everything as regards your growth by yourself that's why god put the body a body has thou prepared a body has thou prepared are we together there are mysteries when a Jimmy shared with me the supernatural birth of his wife I couldn't believe it in minutes she had given birth case closed because there are mysteries you engage are we together please hear what I'm saying you see hope standing you see Aaron's wife standing almost as if they didn't give birth right there is a mystery what you don't know does not mean it cannot work you just don't know how to make it work are we together we are going to pray one last prayer with all your heart every area you know must work in your life listen 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 it pleases the lord when you have testimonies it pleases the lord there are some of us certain sicknesses are killing us no ma you've taken drugs you've done everything without your imagination there are there are there are graces that we have seen sometimes all it takes is recognition to say lord i tap into this grace i shared with you my story when i went to sow a seed to god's servant bishop david Oedeko. and when i came out the lord asked me kneel down on the ground bare ground that ground I laid my hands upon it it's not about idolizing altars and all of that no and he said lay your hands on the ground I laid my hands on the bare ground and the Lord said from this day you have entered the overflow anointing are we together it was an old woman who prophesied upon my life and said my son forever you will walk upon gold that's what that mama told me till tomorrow to whether she's a human being or an angel I don't know I bought sugar cane of 50 naira. Sugar cane of 50 naira changed my destiny forever. When you are a man of gratitude, you frustrate Satan because there is no way he can come. The goal of Satan's attack upon people is to bring them to a point where the faithfulness of God is questioned in their lives and through them to God. So people say, God, where are you? But when you get to a point where you say, Lord, let me tell you in advance. If nothing in my life ever moves forward, I cannot stop thanking you. When Satan hears that is a nightmare, 
because you have worried him you go to the hospital they check you and they say the bp is still there oh. the bp in fact is even worse than it was the last time you say no problem lord i thank you because i'm alive i know that you gave me a word your bible your word says by your stripes i am healed you tested yourself ss or as and they say the marriage cannot hold and you go and check it again and you come out and you sing before god and you thank him do not get into this lifestyle that many people live i hate complainers it irritates me I, I i cannot i cannot i honestly cannot stand it when i stand around people who are naggy and complaining five minutes they are talking about something somebody somewhere i run away from those people because they have the ability to destroy my progress they are not bad people but they are violating a spiritual law for advancement and i intend to move forward so god helps you he gave you 10 naira to buy a tie and you lift the tie before god and say lord this is your faithfulness i never imagined i would get a shirt now you have added a tie for me he adds a tie clip and you say lord i just noticed that you added a tie clip and god said what sort of person are you you mean you are doing this to me let him have a greater supply and he gives you a shoe and he said lord who am i who am i i ask you for a palm sandals and you gave me a shoe i'm grateful and while you are saying that people will look at you and say you are thanking god for a tie and a palm sandals are you stupid what about the admission what about the job how long will you marry or will you stay before you get married you are 37 are you aware you say i'm aware of that keep that one aside lord i thank you i thank you for the fact that i started a small shop and people are coming to eat i know that my desire is that i will have a restaurant in the future but for this small shop two people came today and ate as a pastor you are crying and asking god for members and seven people come and you don't just yell your anger on all of them and shout at them but you say lord i thank you because these people who are coming are not yet members these are my leaders and so i will train them and i will be serious my faithfulness with seven people will bring a crowd i remember our first crusade we were very few a handful of people god did great things but we were very few but i remember thanking the lord for it we could not even afford a video camera but we thank god for it do you realize that for some of you this is the word of the lord to you tonight you have allowed ingratitude listen god knows we are humans brothers and sisters i taught us last week it is true that the vicissitudes of life have a way of pushing a man to a point where you are so overwhelmed i know i know that you need to pay the school fees of your children i know that nobody sponsors you i know that you have hiv and the antiretroviral drugs are beginning to fail i know that the infirmity has remained here i know that the devil has attacked your family there are families here that have come from different places they have come literally as whole families to come and cry before god i understand i will be a fool to deny the presence of that we are humans it's okay to be human i taught us last week it's okay to cry it's okay to express your pain but remember remember the things that he has done in your life not the things he has not done if there is one testimony in your life it's a sign that more are coming if god gave you one testimony remember david when he killed the lion and killed the bear when he stood before goliath he went to the archives of his testimonies and said the god who gave me the lion the god who gave me the bear that same god will deliver me that's how to confront challenges in life you look at your body and they tell you you have fibroid or ovarian cyst and it's increasing yes you are you are going through pains and you are bleeding but you say i remember there was a time i used to have a wound that would not heal and the power of god healed it the god who healed that will do the same for me 
please i'm teaching you how to frustrate satan don't let the devil have a toll on you don't let the devil mark you for ingratitude when the devil marks you for ingratitude he will keep orchestrating events in your life that will keep you angry complaining do you know how many people die of high blood pressure and hypertension and all of those things are caused by frustration that you give god thanks god gives you a job while you are rejoicing they suddenly call you and say sorry something has happened and uh, we may not be able to take the people again and you've gone to testify in the house of god and you turn back and say lord you are faithful i give you praise pastor jakes always says he's a faithful god oh give thanks unto the lord for he is good your situation irrespective he is good everybody say god is good say it god is good look your challenges to the face and say god is good say my god is good yes my god is good my god is good i don't know about yours but my god is a good god my god is a good god I'll never forget one time when a car hit me many years ago. I ran to go and buy, was it Gary or Chinchin or something? And 10 Nera was about to take my life. I think it was Gary or something. I wanted to hurriedly soak it and help myself in a bit to cross back. The devil just orchestrated it because he knew that there are millions of lives that must be changed and blessed. And he just came and the car, it was, I was, I was in the middle of the road. I didn't know what to do. All I had was there was sound of a break and there was, it was as if I was dreaming. I just saw myself at the other side of the car and I had people shouting, hold him, hold him. They said, if they don't hold me, I will stand up and I'll be mad. I just looked at them. I looked at my garage there. I picked it. I told them, I said, give me, yes. I said, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. That night, my leg there was it it swelled up for days there was intense pain but god is my witness i said i have met death and i overcame that's why i don't fear death i've gone through too many things in my life i've slept on speaker i've slept on amplifier I, I, come on now Muimaka. Sujada Muimaka 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 Sujada Muimaka Muimaka Ninaimaka Sujada Lord I give you I give you I give you the highest praise I give you I give you I give you the highest praise. I give you, I give you, I give you the highest praise. Very soon I'm going to give us room. About 10 minutes. And it's going to be exclusive expressions of gratitude. It's going to be you alone. I know you came for a miracle service. But father, mother, brother, sister, you're going to forget about whoever you came with. I don't know how you are going to express it, but I'll give us room shortly. You are going to begin to count your blessings and say, my God, was it not just last month I had an accident? I never gave you thanks for it. Lord, I'm, I'm grateful. I started small, but see what you have made out of my life. Lord, we started from two members and now we are 35. I thank you. I thank you. When a situation overwhelmed me, I did not know that morning will come. Yet you have kept me. That it has become 20 years. I remember when they said I had a heart disease, for instance. Oh Lord, see what you have done in my life. They said people die in our village. They don't get to 20. Now I am 60 years. I give you thanks. Expressions of gratitude. We forget many times. We forget. We're asking God for more. Lord, do more for me. But you are alive. 
but you are healthy you go to the hospital and see people hanging their legs hanging their legs for six months and you hear them singing praises day and night with their legs hanging if you can be grateful not just tonight if you make it a lifestyle i guarantee you there is no arsenal of hell against you that will prosper you will you will you will thank your way to the throne you will march through your challenges through thanksgiving until you get to the throne it's an unbeatable secret of greatness i thank god all the time i thank people all the time gratitude a simple but powerful secret that opens the heavens for a man hallelujah every everywhere that i go everything that i do i'll hear in sanana yeah, yeah, yeah. that's my testimony i'll hear in sanana i'll hear in go Help me alone with your maker lift your voice and cry in whatever way you can and say my god i give you thanks my god i give you thanks go ahead you and your maker for the next 10 minutes for the next 10 minutes cry before him for the next 10 minutes that you have won 
Only you alone are worthy. Lord, we magnify your name. Thank you, Jesus. Protector, redeemer, provider, defender, announcer, lifter, sustainer. We thank you. We thank you that the council of darkness has not prevailed over your people. We thank you for the miracles. We thank you for signs, for wonders, for food, for shelter. We thank you for your faithfulness, for exalting our heads like the horn of the unicorn. We thank you for miracle jobs. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you for our families. Oh God, you have been good. Oh God, you have been good. Three more minutes. Give him thanks. Three more minutes. us to thank God in one minute thank God in one minute for ENI and Koinonia I'd like us to thank God for the awesome things he's doing let's tell him we are grateful people for giving us a platform where the sick can be healed, where lives can be transformed, go ahead and thank him Lord we give you thanks not ashamed to let the world see that you are the mysterious factor behind our advancement we are not ashamed to declare to the world that you are our sustainer defender protector our hope our anchor we have no other God we have no other place you alone oh God deserve the glory of grace and the anointing if it ever embarrasses you to thank God then you will never see his glory if you are ever ashamed and so conscious of your reputation you are so conscious of your emoji man of God I'm a great this and that all those things are nonsense when you come before his presence you throw them aside say faithful God For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you are worthy of our praise We magnify your name For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you are worthy of my praise Magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of my 
Hallelujah. Psalms 107. I already sense the power of God. We'll just read this and go straight into the ministrations. Psalms 107. We're going to read verse 6 and then we'll read 28 to 30. I want to show you another mystery. Two mysteries. One is gratitude. The second, listen, is a mystery. I've seen this thing many times in the Bible. I want you to read it. One, two, read. Stop. Just the A part. One more time. It says, then they cried unto the Lord. There is a mystery when a man cries to the Lord. I used to think it meant just lifting your voice and be loud until God opened my eyes. Every time you see them say in their distress, they cried unto God. In their distress, crying unto God is more than talking. Crying unto God first starts with a revelation that Lord, if you don't help me in this issue, I am finished. It's a revelation. For as long as you have options, you will never see God arise in your life. Until you exhaust all your options and you come to a point where you say, Lord, they gave me the drugs in the hospital. But I acknowledge that is crying unto God. That you say, Lord, you are my priority. If you don't give me a husband, I cannot get one. If you don't give me a job, there is no job for me. Crying to the Lord is more than just saying, Oh God, help me. Blind Bartimaeus cried, and this was his cry. Thou, son of David, art not thou miracle worker. I know you. I know your power. Will you pass me by and leave me in my distress like this? I'm blind, but I've heard about you. That you are the God who can wipe the tears of people. I've heard about you that you are the one who makes the barren to sing. I've heard about you that you are the one who raised Job back. I've heard about you. It says they cried unto the Lord. Whenever you are in trouble, stop discussing. The key is to cry unto God. We have prayer requests here. Many of us are standing, trusting God to touch us. The key tonight is to cry unto God. And the Bible says he delivered them out of their distresses. Verse 28. 28 very quickly. One more time. Let's read. One to read. Again, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And what did he do? He bringeth them out of their distresses. Next verse. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof, the waves that are killing you, that looks like you will not survive. He says God has the ability. There is something he can tell that trouble. It must hear his voice. Next verse. He says then, as a result, they are glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them where? Unto their desired heaven. Listen. God knows your intentions. God knows your desire. He has the ability to bring you to where? Your desired heaven. But the key, after gratitude, you are authorized to cry. To cry to the Lord is not an embarrassment. When you cry, you are saying, Oh God, let your goodness and your mercy speak. At this point, it's not because of what I have done. At this point is if it is with my intellect if it's with my money if it's with my connection I have failed I cry to you in my distress in the next one minute before I minister we are going to cry to God listen I told you crying to God is a revelation a revelation that acknowledges him as your only source tonight you are going to say Lord you are the only one you are the only one who can heal me I know this and tonight I cry to you. The Bible says he can calm the storm. He can calm the storm. Oh yes, he can. Lift your voice and cry to your maker. 
thou son of David let your goodness and your mercy speak over me tonight pray Lord there is nothing new about my situation you have done it before the Bible is full of records of your faithfulness how you parted the Red Sea before people how overnight you turned the captivity of men and women pray Lord I don't know how you will do it but I know you can do it they cried unto the Lord in their trouble he said call upon me in the day of trouble cry to the Lord my rent has expired I'm not working I have no idea but I cry to you I have multiple carryovers I don't know what will happen to me but I cry to you thou O oh God the lifter up of my head the one who is able to change my story I've not come to an idol it is within your power to help me oh thou Ebenezer arise for me you are my Ebenezer the helper of man God can help you listen to me God can help you God can help you they cried unto the Lord in their distress cry unto the Lord and watch what you will do in your life don't give him options don't give him options Lord you are my only source I cry to you pray my only hope of entering into my desired heaven some trust in horses some trust in chariots but we will trust in the name of our God Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Lift your voice and sing inside and outside. Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Come on, let your faith rise tonight. Lord, step in to the impossible. Lord, step in, Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. One more time. Lord, step in, Lord, step in. Step in. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing a lady right now. Please check yourself and you just come out to testify before we continue. I'm seeing a lady. You came here with severe pain on your neck. Check it now. Check it now. The Lord is touching you. The Lord is touching you. I'm seeing an elderly man in this place. Um, you've been having pains towards the lower abdominal region. The Lord has just touched that man right now. He's an elderly man. I don't know where that person is. Please testify. Check yourself. And immediately you find out you are healed. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. God is touching people right now. I don't know who I'm seeing an ear. God is touching someone's ear. It's like, I don't know if it's an ear issue. But God is touching it right now. God is touching it right now. God is touching it right now. Please check yourself. And make your way right now. 
right now let's just have two or three of those people god is touching it right now right now doing a miracle for somebody um i'm seeing somebody that has i don't know if it's um i don't know what to call it but it's like a serious stomach issue it comes and hooks you literally you are gasping for breath when that happens to you it's like it literally holds you check yourself now you'll find out that the lord has touched you make your way to the front very quickly you can make your way right here miracles are happening come on give jesus praise miracles are happening miracles are happening god is touching people right now can you give jesus praise god is touching people god is touching people right now i'm seeing someone with an eye problem you see like a black object it comes and goes it's like a it's, it looks like a needle like a black object you'll be looking at people and then you will see it this has happened for a while but god has touched you right now who is that person make your way to the front right now i'm seeing someone's left leg outside in the overflow there is someone with a left leg issue left leg is like you came towards the, the, the um, this area where i'm holding i'm seeing the power of god touch that area check it right now check it right now and confirm your healing and make your way to the front check it right now confirm your healing make your way to the front hallelujah have they checked themselves now? you've checked yourself okay so quickly we'll just take two or three you can turn please come up come up let them come up when you come you can stand please come up man come up sir go ahead just tell us quickly straight to the point praise the lord uh, i have an ear issue and it normally scratch me sometimes okay and i'm feeling better by completely give right jesus now. praise hallelujah give jesus praise it never returns to you in the name of jesus yes sir please let's celebrate jesus celebrate what he's doing for some, yes for some years i have been experiencing pain here pain he, at yes. the lower abdominal yes, region yes. yes you know i gave a word of knowledge yes. that there was somebody lower it's abdominal. Better. It's and better how, how about better. now exactly it's better. in the name of jesus christ lord we declare that it is perfected wow the power of god is coming on you it's perfected right now never to return to you in the name of jesus please check it sir check it check it right now check it okay. it's check getting it. better yes i'm feeling better I'm feeling you will better. be perfected in the name of Amen. the lord jesus christ Amen. give jesus praise praise the lord for the past two weeks now i've been having ear pain ear it's pain a, it's an attack okay i have cold i have kata so the thing blocked my ear i don't used to hear very well so now i'm i'm okay completely yes madam what the lord is bringing increase for you i'm seeing attack i'm seeing a serious attack your money has gone down yes because this this i'm seeing this has to do with i don't know if you sell hair or you are doing I, something i have salon in center I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it's like an attack this thing yes, has gone down people are not even coming the way it used to be yes. before again is that true yes. the lord is saying i should tell you in this miracle service a restoration comes for you in the name of the lord jesus christ the restoration comes for you right now in the name of jesus give jesus praise god is visiting situations right now visiting situations right now go ahead please quickly i want to thank god because i've been having serious pain on my neck at times neck pain yes, okay the lady i said with neck pain how long it's like it's for months it comes and go at times it's like my entire head my ear it affects my ear but when you were speaking, I, I just turned and I felt it was gone. You felt it was gone. Hallelujah. Now, there is a lady, while they were giving a testimony, there's a lady here. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came upon you right now. It's a miracle that God has given you. Who is that person? Come out. You are in this row. Where are you? Come. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came over you. Come. Come. This night, God is bringing restoration. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your anointing bring restoration for her right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tremendous restoration. I'm seeing a crown being put upon your head. Are you together? Are you together? I'm seeing a crown. Oh, you felt the same thing. I'm praying for you. 
Madam, the Lord is averting CS. The Lord is averting CS because, you see, the anointing is on you. The Lord is averting CS. I'm seeing a spirit standing by the theater. And I'm seeing that this is even supposed to destroy this baby. That they say this baby comes out and is affected. But the anointing of the spirit is upon you right now as I'm speaking. And I release the power of God right now. Let that demonic substance out of her. Now. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Is your family here? Is the time for the visitation? Where is our family? Please come. There is a whole deliverance for a family that God is doing here right now. I see that family. Please, where is our daddy and our mommy? Please appreciate them as they come. Enough of the nonsense of darkness. Please celebrate them as they come. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Lord, we see miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Sir, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a cause. This is what I'm seeing. As I look at you, the Lord is showing me this is a cause. Number one, it has tied down your finances completely down. This thing is so embarrassing, it has tied down everything. I don't know who is it in your family that has dreams. I see dreams of someone chasing somebody. I don't know which of your children or who now, but I'm seeing one of those people have dreams. That's their daughter. You see the power of God touching her. She's their daughter. She's the person with this case I'm mentioning. I'm seeing dreams and it's like people pursuing the person. This thing started right from your family and this is already following this lady because I'm seeing now that the devil wants to put fibroid in her stomach. It's starting now as pain. I, I remove that fibroid right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause that seed of fibroid by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing this woman crying before God in prayer. This is what I'm seeing. This woman has been a defense. I'm seeing her crying before God and saying, Lord, will you not wipe our tears in this family? But tonight, we see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. can help you but every time they want to indicate helping you something just comes and nobody is willing to help you because I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing a body but I'm not seeing a face this thing has covered your glory whoever is supposed to help you misunderstands you and for some reason they uh, they don't help again hallelujah who is Adamu I'm hearing a name Adamu Adamu I'm hearing something that has to do with Adamu Adamu, please help, help those on Adamu, I'm hearing Adamu. Who is that? Adamu. Adamu. Huh? Where is your father? The person I'm talking about, his father's name is the one that is Adamu. Huh? What's your father's son name? Adamu. Adamu. Yes. God is giving Adamu a miracle. Yes. Your father, right? Where is he? In Nasarawa State. State. Yes, sir. Because this enchantment that is done against your family enough is enough it's part of your prayer request right yes, number five six uh, number two and three yes, number two and three prayer requests yes, sir. look at it there yes, that's sir. it number two and number three that's what you wrote Lord read it read it miracle in your family yes, that's what i'm reading what you are writing and god is giving a miracle yes, a big miracle to adamu Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, right now, right now. Right now. I miracles. see miracles everywhere. Lord, we see miracles. Miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. 
the spirit of God is ministering to me I'm seeing the anointing of the spirit I'm looking at a map and I'm seeing the spirit of God going to Yola Yola a miracle is happening in Yola and it's going to this lady's family this lady right I'm seeing a miracle but there are two other people from Yola from Yola I see the power of God moving two people from Yola it will come like a tornado upon you it's a miracle that God is doing right there there is a lady's elder sister who has been barren I'm seeing the number three three years barren barren help them that lady is from Yola she's an usher she's walking but the spirit of God I'm seeing is a wicked demon this is what I'm seeing that has been oppressing her family I don't know if she's from Yola or not but I'm seeing that God is doing a serious miracle sir I'm going to pray for you mommy I will minister to you madam the Lord is saying I should tell you that the crying is over the crying is over right now as I speak the power of God is coming on you the Lord is saying I should tell you the crying is over right now the angel of the Lord is pouring something that looks like oil upon your head pouring it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the anointing of the Holy Spirit pouring what looks like vials of oil now I curse this spirit I address you by the power of the Holy Spirit let this family go now 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 this curse that has tied down the family even the lawful captive shall be delivered he said for I will contend with them that contend with you right now the power of God is touching people I see deliverance 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 fire lift your hands everybody let's just interrupt this deliverance fire right now it will start touching people at the count of three father the angels of God there are many angels in this place bringing deliverance for families at the count of three let that fire come right now one two three receive it right now right now right now right now bring them out deliverance for families outside i'm seeing the angels of the lord go outside outside the power of god is moving it's like fire coming on families it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere miracles everywhere right now right now we see miracles everywhere we see miracles miracles everywhere we see miracles miracles everywhere right now right now hallelujah lift your hands father where are those families who showed me in the place of prayer that from the village now i'm not one who just talks so much about village but this one is from the village i see an attack at the count of three one two three from the village those arrows back to sender shakatata leketata reketatata from the village i see enchantments from the village i see altars i see covens i set them on fire i set them on fire i set them on fire they are calling your names from the village from the village enchantments witchcraft death outside outside fire is falling what fire is falling fire is falling from the village speakings of death enchantments of death
Basa kata brekete ke baka paragata brekete ke paragata bako sege mariana baya baso parata parida bata brekete ka bosa we ya we ya we the name above all names we call you we call you we I'm ready to pray for you now. I didn't just leave you. I need to pray for you. My God, there is massive deliverance going on in this place. My dear, lift your hands where you are. An angel of the Lord is touching you right now. Right now. Mama, an angel of the Lord is touching you. He's doing something in your husband's life. Your husband's life. There is a miracle that is happening. Madam, your time for a miracle has come. Come. This woman, this woman wearing pink. No, no, no. I mean, that one. The one turning back. Yes, you, madam, come. Your time for a serious visitation has come. Let's stretch our hands towards daddy. Bring her. Be delivered now. I curse that spirit. Go! Stretch our hands towards daddy and mommy. Let's pray for them. Father, this plague must stop. I saw a curse. It was looking like a hollow over your head. It follows you everywhere you go and brings bad luck to your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, it's over. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I announce a new season. I announce a new season. Mommy, the spell is broken. Broken, 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 broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, I hold your hands in the name of Jesus and I announce to you that it's a new season. You will go back and experience dramatic turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't think it will come from all the channels you are planning. Unusual sources of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Madam, I want to pray for you. Do you have a daughter? Is she here? One is here? I'm seeing one of your child here. Where is the person? A girl? A lady? A girl, yes. A lady, where is she? Please call her name, let her come. Daughter, where are you? Who is the person? She's wearing something like traditional dressing. Who is that? Come. This has been your desire that God will visit your family, right? It's been your desire, it's been your prayer yes, sir. that God will visit your family. Yes, sir. And tonight, God has chosen to step in. See, it's an awesome thing when the light of God turns to you. Then you know that your situation has come to an end. I mustn't call you. It's not just by word of knowledge. It's not just by word of knowledge. lady is going to vomit something i'm seeing something that looks like a snake moving in her stomach this is like i don't know if it's poison this is something that has been put to this lady i cost that devil i cost you back to hell back to hell from where you came from hallelujah mommy please stand up let me pray for you man you can stand up please I want to pray for you. God is going to bring dramatic breakthrough to your life. Please, I want you to note it. Dramatic breakthrough. It will so surprise you. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, captivity comes to an end. I release supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And for you, supernatural breakthrough. Mama, I pray. The Lord told me that the tears have come to an end 
is wiping your tears father thank you for your word in the name of jesus christ i pray in the name of jesus christ i pray in the name of jesus christ i pray remember not the former things the lord says i should tell you in this season he's doing new things he will change the heart of your husband in a way that you never imagined he will do this for his glory the spell of bad luck over your life is broken bad luck there's something about your life that makes people hate you it's a spirit and there are people here lift your hands everybody i'm praying for you whatever makes people hate you for no reason i want you to know that it's not normal you will see what will happen right now there are people here i know that people have those kinds of things but there are people with those things it's like an aura on you as i was ministering to her the lord said minister to the house father where are they right now in the name of jesus let the anointing locate them inside and outside that spell of bad luck right now right now in the name of jesus right now in the name of jesus right now in the name of jesus right now in the name of jesus, right name of jesus. justina the lord is bringing miracles to your family miracles to your family i'm seeing a lady from is it oka oka that should be east I'm, I, oka is anyone from like that i'm seeing a lady our minister generally will pray for the sick now but i just want to flow oka oka is there someone like that please if you are like that you can make your way to the front the lord wants me to pray for that family my dear you with a white hair tie that lady you turning back lift your hands where you are i don't know what it is that i'm seeing but god is destroying an embargo over your life and family lord jesus i destroy it right now in the name of jesus where you are standing i destroy it by the power of the holy spirit you are from there you are from oka where is that anambra state anambra state yes i'm going to pray for you you're also from there huh make your way to the front you are from there too three of you look at me you cannot be a victim you and your sisters of the wickedness of people in the village are you hearing what i'm saying hold my hands father it must end this must end it must end by the anointing of the holy spirit this is this is i'm seeing enchantment this is this is witchcraft to produce consistent failure in life you and your sisters i pray for you father you are going to visit them in this season you are going to visit them in this season in the name of jesus i want to minister to you you are from there too come stand the lord gave me that word and said to minister to the people as i lay my hands and minister to you i want you to know that everything that does not represent god ah uh, and everyone pursuing you in your dream and disturbing you it must end in the name of jesus christ for you there is there is i'm seeing something that looks like a crown in your head we must remove it because it's not god that put that crown. out in the name of jesus christ that devil is a liar take it off of her in the name of the lord jesus christ where is your mother my dear huh? abia, state. abia state we are going to pray for you tell your mother that a deliverance is coming for her then a breakthrough deliverance first then breakthrough for the deliverance she will see it in a dream it's like something will be chasing her to catch her and she will see somebody who will snatch her out is a dream connoting deliverance father visit this family out in the name of jesus christ you are a student here huh? yes. we must pray for you so that the spirit that destroys men when they are about to finish huh? in your family we must stop it in the name of jesus christ glorify yourself oh god i curse this spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ lift your hands everyone
before I begin to minister to the sick, God is bringing deliverance to families right now. We are going to shout Jesus at the count of three. This is not just to you, but God is stepping into families. Some of you never knew that what is happening physically in your family is as a result of all kinds of things. Devils. Lift your hands, everybody. At the count of three, you shout Jesus at the top of your voice. And the power of God will move mightily in this place. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you step into families and end every oppression and every captivity. Right now, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, every family, shakatatata, under any demonic siege, my goodness, the power of God is already touching people. Right now, at the count of three, let that shout be like a chord in the spirit. One, two, three. Be delivered now. 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 Altars be broken. Altars be broken over families. Over families. Inside and outside. And those following online. I break it right now. Every family under any spell. Every family. That's right. Kabatakata. Bring them out. Shakatatata. Every family under any spell. Oh, you must leave them. You must leave them. I speak to those spirits. Hear my voice. In the name of Jesus. There is no hiding place for you. You must go. You must go. You must go. It's time for their deliverance. You must go. Hallelujah. My goodness, God is doing miracles right now. God is so help that lady, please. Help them. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray for just the sisters. Something remarkable will happen right now remarkable there is a spirit that puts women in bondage because when one woman is in bondage it can affect a thousand men there are ladies oh my goodness the fire of god will move not small sisters lift your hands lord by fire as the sisters cry that spirit that seraph that follows ladies and causes them visiting them in dreams as you shout Jesus my goodness I pray that those fallen spirits that will not let you go that did not keep their original estate they will be judged right now father locate every one of these sisters right now one two shout Jesus right now right now right now right now right now those spirits go 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 Go! Shaka ta ta ta! Shapa ta ta ta! Lift your hands. There are people here. Strange dreams. Strange dreams in the night. You sleep in the night and you have all kinds of strange dreams. From men or women or animals coming to sleep with you. Or people tying your legs and you see what is happening in the day. Whether you believe it or not is not the issue. I want to settle those things right now. Lift your hands. Lord, where are these people? From the dream realm. From the realm of the spirit. As you shout the name Jesus. Anyone under this condition. Some of you, that's what is responsible for masturbation. Some of you, that's what is responsible for pornography. Some of you, that's what is responsible for delay. Lift your hands. Father those spirits that use the realm of dreams and visions and manipulate destinies manipulate the stars of your people at the count of three we set them on fire fire comes upon you now many guys will be affected one two three oh i bring you deliverance in the name of jesus i cause those spirits causing delay you must leave 
now 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 sababa baba seketetete kaprata katatata seketetetete reketetete go 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 what's up there now sakatatata banana bus em protokoto pariata That spell of delay must leave. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. I'd like you to pray and cause delay from your life. In the next one minute, open your mouth and say enough is enough. I must move forward. Pray. Please pray. Take it seriously. It's called a miracle service. It's called a miracle service. Pray. Lord, I'm tired of delay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Prophesy. I'm moving forward. This is the ninth month. By the blood of Jesus. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward under this anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like you to shout after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Every gate and every obstacle standing between me and the next level by the blood of Jesus. I bring those gates down. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Shakatatata. Shaketekete. Gates of limitations standing before me and my desired heaven. Gates of limitation standing before me in the name of Jesus. Gates of limitation standing before me and my desired heaven. Outside, make sure you are praying. Pray. You will return with a testimony. You are praying under a corporate anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Everything that belongs to me and is not yet in my life in this season by the power of faith I command them to manifest open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and pray come on koinonia everything every lifting every glory that belongs to me and has refused to manifest by the power of faith even God who quickened the dead and call it those things that be not as though they were. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every legal access, every claim the devil has over my life over my family by the blood of Jesus I declare that I'm free by the blood of Jesus I command my liberty I declare that the price for my freedom has been paid therefore Satan stay off my life open your mouth and begin to pray stay off my life the price has been paid by the death of Jesus. Every curse, every yoke, every spell, every enchantment. By the blood of Jesus. Pray.
Hallelujah. I want you to listen to me carefully. I'm doing this by the Spirit. Listen, many breakthroughs are happening to people just from this simple prayer. I wish that God could open your eyes to see the things that are happening to people. You are, this is not just your normal prayer. You are under a heavy anointing. Listen, human beings have prophetic atmospheres. The ark of God came into the house of Obed-Edom and brought him good. Jonah entered a boat and made people to be destroyed. Listen, some of you are good people, but you are carrying a spiritual atmosphere that brings bad luck to you and everybody connected to you. That's what prophets sometimes will see. And because they don't have discernment, they call people witches and wizards. They are not witches and wizards. They are sincere people. But they carry a spiritual climate that everywhere they go it makes certain things to happen do you understand now some of you are sincere people but you are carrying atmospheres that makes everything around your life to fail we are going to pray say after me in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus this is strong prayer this simple prayer you are saying you will see the result instantly i like you to pray and say every atmosphere that i carry that does not come from god and is responsible for bad luck and misfortune in my life tonight i declare let that atmosphere change lift your voice and pray seriously Lift your voice and pray seriously. Every negative atmosphere. Kaparatata. Pray. Miracles are happening. Pray. Every negative atmosphere. Pray. That brings bad luck. I may be a sincere person. But it brings repeated misfortunes. I challenge it whether ancestral whether territorial i challenge it i change my spiritual climate by the blood of jesus hallelujah two more prayer points and we'll pray for the sick hallelujah we are going to pray a prayer of restoration do you believe in restoration nothing is ever truly lost it only leaves your presence i like us to pray yeah that's the song everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen one more time forget about your situation just prophesy just prophesy you may not know how it will happen just prophesy one more time prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me shout it say in the name of jesus all the years all the fortunes every opportunity every access that has been lost in my life by the mercy of god i command them to come back to me go ahead and pray this is a serious prayer point all the years 
all the fortunes all the opportunities all the access that have passed your life pray like samson pray like hezekiah pray let there be a restoration and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray the last prayer point. Listen. There are spirit entities that challenge and haunt the destiny of people in the realm of the spirit. When Jesus was born, certain men saw his star from the east and they started following that star. And the moment they announced to Herod, a king is born. Herod said, ah, a king. He said, please find where he is and tell me so that i will come and worship him but his intention was to kill him you are going to pray over your destiny please take this prayer point seriously shout it say in the name of jesus i declare that my destiny is secured by the blood every act of witchcraft that has tied down my destiny right now by the blood of Jesus release it now pray pray release my destiny release my destiny my prophetic potential release it release it Hallelujah. Prophesy after me, say in the name of Jesus. This is my year of the rain. It's a new dimension for me. I'm breaking every limitation. Say it again. I'm breaking every limitation. And I declare that in this remaining part of the year, an anointing comes upon my life that causes me to triumph that causes me to excel go ahead and pray it lord is my year of the rain an anointing comes upon my life a speedy walk by the holy ghost a speedy walk of restoration a speedy walk hallelujah we're going to do two things at the same time right now listen if there is any trace of sickness and infirmity in your body it's time for it to die are we together now are we together now please just address these people we're going to have all those people come and line up while that is happening please i beg you if you do not write anything in your prayer request please if you need papers maybe the ushers can pass it we are going to be praying on everybody's request those on facebook some of your loved ones you are permitted to switch off your switch on your phone and tell them please send in your prayer request because god is about to do something right now while you are doing that be praying in tongues everybody be praying in tongues while sick people all those who brought sick people make your way to the front very quickly please very quickly all those trusting god for healings and miracles please just line up Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost 
The devil is a liar. He must let you go tonight. Hallelujah. We don't just lay hands on people. I know that it takes a lot of time. But it's the way God is directing us. It's not just ordinary hand laying. It's a prophetic point of contact. Some of you are coming out for sickness. But the truth about it is that there is an oppression of darkness. Is that the mama with cancer? Okay. No, no problem. No problem. She can come. If she cannot stand, just give her a seat. Let her sit down, please. Those who are weak and cannot stand, please, you can give them a seat so that they don't collapse. The, the woman with cancer, if she, if she cannot come, just I'll minister to her. Everything that was lost. Make sure you are writing your prayer request, please. Everything that was lost. Hallelujah. All of you that are coming out, I want you to know that we are patient enough to minister to us. There are all kinds of ministries. This ministry is like a spiritual factory. It's like a spiritual workshop. It's where we dirty our hands on the job. And as I minister to us, please, I want our hearts to be open. Don't just stand watching the power of God touch people. The moment I lay hands on you and minister to you, I want you to receive. You can go back to your seat. Some of you will be under the anointing. It doesn't matter. As I pray for you, you don't have to scrounge. I will lay hands on everybody. It's going to be a quick walk. It will take time. Please, when you write your request, pass it to the ushers. In case there are things, listen, listen. Let me teach you how to maximize this prayer point. Don't just write things carelessly. While you are writing, be praying in tongues. Because the Spirit of God will bring into your mind. Bring you into remembrance. It may even be a matter that is not your own. You heard the story of the gentleman. Dropped a prayer point and nine months later, they are coming with twins. There is nothing God cannot do. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over your people. There are powers tying down their destinies. But you have put this miracle service as a prophetic platform. Let there be miracles. Go ahead. All of us, we can join praying in tongues while I pray for these people. Occasionally, worship team, you will help us. Lord, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this. I don't know. They can't see it on screen. It's not clear. This is a leg that is bent. Father, do a miracle. They didn't fix it well. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Let the power of God do a miracle on this leg. In the name of Jesus. Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. Out! Now you be God. Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. 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 Now you be God, oh. Point number two, Lord, I take full delivery of everything.
everything you package uniquely for me tonight. Lift your voice. I will not miss out on anything. Hallelujah. Who brought this woman, please? Huh? What's the issue? What's wrong? Hallelujah. We'll soon be rounding up. Let's just hear. No, no, no. Keep us standing. What's wrong? I'm paralyzed. Paralyzed. Mama, can she talk? Yes. Mama, for how long? Because I paralyzed. Did. Yes, I went to the house and met She can't walk on her own. She can't walk very well. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ, I curse this spirit. It's okay. In the name of Jesus. Mama, look at me. In Jesus' name, lift your hand. Lift it. Go. Don't look at Just lift it. Put it down. Lift it again. Paralyzed hand. Look at this. Look at this. Mama, clear the way for her. In the name of Jesus Christ, walk. Come. Don't hold her. Come. 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 Turn around. Turn around. Walk. Come. Come. Come on. Give Jesus praise. It's miracles Come. everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Paralyzed. Miracles everywhere. of paralysis it never returns to you again in the name of jesus you are the son that brought her you are, she's not your mom yes. but you brought her yes. i pray for you may you never lack helpers in your life because you are a young man you are not related to her yet you carried mama out of compassion this miracle is because of you i'm laying hands on you and i prophesy to you all the days of your life may help us be around you like peace in the name of jesus christ for as long as your eyes can see the sun you will find a helper in the name of jesus christ god bless you celebrate mama god bless you there's a miracles everywhere make sure you submit your prayer request everywhere I want you to come out. I, I don't mean you want to do ministry. You are actively ministry. Come and stand here. It's time for you to take fresh fire. Please, if you come out and you are not a minister, I will send you back. I assure you, don't embarrass yourself. If you are a minister and you know, not just that you sense the call of God, please, don't embarrass yourself. We are going to pray for everybody. But if you are a minister, come, go ahead. 
Don't be afraid. We're in a season of God's glory. Please listen. We're in a season of God's remarkable grace. It takes signs and wonders. Not just grammar and story. The Bible is not waiting for the explanation of the sons of God. For the manifestation. Please, I'd like you to believe. I'm going to do this very fast. The Lord has instructed me. Immediately after we do that, all visitors, visitors alone. I will not lay hands on you, but I'll pray for you. And then we'll pray for the request, prophesy, and we're out. We'll do all this within the next 10 minutes so that we're done. Father, I pray. It's not by might is not by power Lord as I lay hands upon your servants let something new something divine my God I pray activate the gifts of the spirit in them activate the operations of signs and wonders let utterance be given unto them let their lives oh God produce results Results, oh God. Results. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. By your hand. Take the fire. 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 Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. New levels. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. New dimensions. Fresh grace. My goodness, fire is falling. Fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh grace, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh grace, fresh anointing, new anointing, new dimension, gifts of the spirit, vision. Prophecies, multiplied graces. I prophesy to all of you, let it be a new season in the name of Jesus. New season, new season, new season. I empower you for a new dimension in the spirit. I empower you. Fresh grace, fresh grace. stretch your hands towards the prayer request unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come please stretch your hands it's a prophetic instruction God gave us we have seen amazing testimonies if there are still people left please let them come let them drop it very quickly in one minute I'd like you to begin to pray Lord it's time to turn my story around my goodness as we pray miracles will begin to happen to people right in the crowd right in the crowd as i'm touching the request something is happening to you something is happening i'm seeing angels lightning all over all over all over father in the name of jesus we pray go ahead and pray everyone
I release angels. I activate angels. I release angels. I activate angels. In the crowd right now. I turn this request to testimonies. I activate angels. Lord, solve problems, solve problems. Let burdens be removed. I activate angels. I activate angels. Happen, oh God, we cry unto you, O oh God of Jacob, we cry unto you, O oh God of Israel, unto thee that answers prayer, shall all flesh come, we cry unto you, we call upon your name, turn the night of people in the day, turn their morning into joy, O oh God. Hallelujah. I tell you, mighty miracles are happening. I see all kinds of miracles happening in the realm of the spirit. Father, turn these requests into testimonies. The way I walk on them, oh God, these problems remain under our feet forever in the name of jesus christ under our feet forever in the name of jesus christ all our visitors please come out quickly if you're a visitor here you're a visitor this is your first time Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to us last year. He said we should prophesy and pray over the visitors. Some of you have traveled kilometers. You have traveled from different states of this nation, risking yourself through the night. Please make sure you come. Clear the way for them. You are a visitor. This is your first time you are coming here. Make your way to the front. Let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying, people? The number of visitors that troop in every week into Zaria for Koinonia is getting so much. We have to find something to start doing around your regions so that we save some of you transporting yourself. Maybe we'll open a branch of Koinonia in all those places. Maybe we'll come to your village. <laughs> Hallelujah. But seriously, we're trusting God for instructions for the next level. And I'm sure that very soon he's going to speak. But I perceive that very soon there's going to be a lot of expansion because of what God is doing. Hallelujah. Are you glad about that? Let's celebrate Jesus. God has brought you here. Your life will never be the same. Please lift your hands. Father, you have brought these people all the way. Some of them with burdens. Some of them coming to catch fire. I stretch my hands towards you. Kaborato shatabaladaba. Nandekele koroto suto prashia. My goodness, I see impartations happening to people. Those of you standing, I'm seeing impartations. It's like rain, rain touching people. That's what I see. These are showers of blessings, showers of miracles. I prophesy to you from tonight. Help them, help them, help them, help them, please. I prophesy to you. Step into new levels. In the name of Jesus Christ, step into new dimensions. This is Koinonia, a place of encounter. It's not just the name of a meeting. It's the name and the dimension of the operation of the Spirit. We bless you with hunger for God. We bless you with passion for the things of the Spirit. I'm praying for you. You will go back with such fire. You will go back with such passion you will not recover from. I pray that everything that has not been working in your life, let it be activated tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I welcome all of you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We're here every Friday. 
um, this is not our usual venue our venue is Christ Gospel Church at New Extension but we thank you for coming I bless you in the name of Jesus and I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart and on behalf of everyone in this ministry and the many who are joining us online that you will return with a strange miracle in the name of Jesus you will return with a strange miracle some of you even before you get home your miracles will be waiting for you some of you this night you will have dreams and encounters and the veil over your eyes will be open some of you this night God will show you what has been happening in your life God will show you direction I see God giving a lot of you direction direction for the next level you will hear his voice very accurately in the vision of the night in the vision of the night he will show you in the name of Jesus Christ we bless you for those of you who have never been here I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll have your details outside very quickly and then you come and join us those of you who have been here and we have received you you can just go back to your seat with a blessing but those of you who have never been here you've not put down your name we need your names and details I want you to make your way here in the name of Jesus everybody rise as we receive the last prophecy for the meeting now you be God God, you know be my name. You know be my name. Now Him be God. Almighty God, you know be my name. You know. Two more times. Now You be God. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow morning we are off to Kogi State. We are going to be tearing down the walls of darkness. Trust God to set that territory free. Pray for us and if you come from Kogi, stand by us and tell and let's trust God to really do something apostolic in that land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now please, this for me, you always hear me say this. I consider this to be the most important part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to receive the creative power of the spoken word the creative power of prophecy this is where the word of God comes into you like a drug and literally literally alters you and so I want you to receive with your heart open hallelujah please receive with your heart open in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you, I want you to receive by shouting a resounding amen. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. I prophesy no more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears. No more tears. No more tears in the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted, I prophesy. May a supernatural anointing come upon it. Let it begin to produce extraordinary results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Extraordinary results. I pray for everyone due for promotion. And every of your loved ones due for promotion in the name of Jesus we cause the embargo stopping their promotion and we prophesy promotion there will be testimonies of promotion the power of God is touching people everyone and every family called jobless I feel like fire on my hands as I'm about to pray this please help them I feel like fire on my hands everyone represented here and every family called jobless right now in the name of Jesus I release an anointing for supernatural jobs 
receive it receive it receive it help them please receive it receive it testimonies of jobs testimonies of jobs testimonies of jobs every delay in your life that has stopped you from entering where you should enter now the anointing that came on Elijah that he guarded his loins and ran receive that anointing right now I cause delay in the name of Jesus I cause delay in the name of Jesus everyone who has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise and your family to rise I declare that to their shame my God will lift you before them my God will lift you before them my God will lift you before them everyone who says can anything good come out of your life I prophesy to you in this season God will use your life to answer them God will use your life to answer them I pray for you in the name that is above all names whoever needs to come into your life in this season no let's start it this way whoever needs to go out of your life this season in the name of Jesus if their presence has been causing you pain and setback I break you free from them now wrong associations be free from them now wrong relationships we break it now wrong soul ties we break it now wrong connections we break it now wrong fraternities we break it now we break it now we break it now i command them out of your life out of your family listen some of our parents the trouble in their life is because they have wrong friends they will never leave they keep influencing them to make useless decisions i pray for every family any stranger manipulating the destiny of any family through the counsel of Akitofel, today we send them packing from their homes packing from your homes in the name of jesus until samuel appeared the destiny of saul remained covered until jesus appeared 12 years of hemorrhage continue whoever must appear in your life whoever must appear magato topata you hear me talk of destiny helpers all the time your next level comes from god but through the hands of a destiny helper from the realm of the spirit destiny helpers i call you from the north from the north from the south from the east from the west wherever you are locate god's people come into their lives in the name of jesus every academic challenge you have tried and done everything you know to do but you need a miracle in the name of jesus i release my faith upon with you receive academic miracles now 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 we activate angels to faculties angels to departments angels to faculties 
faculty of art science environmental design medicine engineering administration education we release them now miracles in the name of jesus that favor anointing that makes men run to look for people to bless them i pray for you when the favor of god came upon my fever shed saul looked for him and blessed him receive favor right now unusual favor uncommon favor uncommon favor in the name of jesus before i pray the last prayer point listen if you're here and you've not given your heart to jesus christ please i can't pray this last prayer point without making this sure because i want to pray something dangerous if you're here you've never given your heart to the lord please listen inside and outside or you once gave your heart to jesus christ but for some reason you see they're already coming out follow them you found out that you need to make your ways right please our time is limited in one minute inside and outside you're welcome make your way to the front god bless you bless you they are coming koinonia celebrate them don't sit back don't sit back this is a family this is not all of you i believe there are still some people outside clear the way for them please clear the way god bless you sirs. bless you sirs. celebrate them jesus is calling you god bless you ma calling you to give you a new beginning please if they are coming clear the way for them so that they don't become discouraged motivate them clap for them thank you jesus come run to jesus christ he will give you a new beginning if the holy spirit is telling you to come out come out don't sit back there don't sit back there many of you are hearing the nudging of the spirit he's saying why are you sitting down don't argue with him make your way hallelujah thank you so much for coming out brothers and sisters I want to lead you in a prayer of salvation it's not a poem it's not a special number it's a it's a genuine prayer of dedication god bless you hallelujah lift your right hand high to heaven and say this very passionately please you are not reciting a poem this is not an article you are praying to god this is a prayer that is going to save your soul and redeem you and empower you to be great say lord jesus I believe in you and I love you with all my heart I ask you to forgive me my sins I receive Jesus Christ into my heart be my Lord be my Savior from today my past is gone it's a new beginning I receive eternal life into my spirit the old is gone and the new has come in the name of jesus christ i pray for you right now i stretch my hands father these ones have come to make a decision for you i pray that this decision will be permanent they will never backslide no going to the world no going to the flesh i release grace upon you to live the victorious christian life in the name of jesus christ every wrong association every company of wicked and senseless people you will not have any appetite and desire to be close to them again. You will love them, but you will not associate with them again. I receive grace for you to edit your friends. Wicked and unreasonable people are far from you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you. Congratulations. In the name of Jesus, it's a new beginning. Please follow the gentleman waving his hands. And they will have your details. We'll follow you up in the name of Jesus. Please lift your hands for the last prayer point. I want to pray for the gift of the spirit to fall upon your life this is why i said we have to pray for them please lift your hands just a quick walk in one minute some of you have passionately desired certain things some of you have had dreams but you cannot understand god is speaking to you there are many of you that have longed to hear the voice of god you are praying and somehow you hear it but there is no clarity and direction there are some of us that are trusting god for newer levels of the anointing the gifts of the spirit please lift your hands in one minute i'm going to pray 
there will be a great impartation upon you all the gifts of the spirit the nine recorded in the bible and every other one that is available in god father i'm praying right now as your people shout i receive let there be mighty impartations there are people here who will carry strange fires strange grace at the count of three shout i receive one two three receive it right now right now right now right now gifts of healing impartations visions 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 prophetic encounters Kaparatata. receive it right now in the name of jesus word of knowledge word of wisdom gifts of leadership administration dreams visions entrepreneurship every gift available receive it now now please help that lady so she doesn't enjoy herself i pray for you what you could not do by the gift of the spirit go and begin to do it where you could not enter by this new anointing go and enter nothing dies in your hands in the name of jesus christ celebrate jesus and his name hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain